Uh, next section that we are going to cover is 2.8, and it is factoring polynomials completely. Okay. So I've shown you multiple ways to factor quadratic. Um, we've factored out... Um, we factored out greatest common factors um, in this, in most cases, monomials. Um, we factored out um, when it was just like x squared plus bx plus c. And then we factored when it was ax squared plus bx plus c. We factored our special products, which was, um, I'm going to call it a squared plus or minus 2ab plus b squared. Those factored into a plus or minus b quantity squared. And we had a squared minus b squared, which is our special, um, our difference of square patterns, square root of the first plus square root of the last times square root of the first minus square root of the last. So all sorts of things with, um, polynomials, I mean for quadratics, but now we need to apply some stuff to polynomials in general. Um, and we're going to start off with some special cubics um, that have four terms. So this is four term cubics. And the method that we are going to use to solve this is grouping. Okay, what we're gonna do is we are going to put parentheses around the first two, parentheses around the last two, plus sign in between the two. Parentheses plus parentheses. Okay. Then we're going to factor the greatest common factor in each group. And if the second parentheses has a negative first term, we need to factor out a negative. So, well, this has got a one and a three, so the number that comes out of here would just be one. And then the lowest power of x that appears in every term is gonna be x squared. The number that appears in both of these, common factor between two and six is two. Then what we're going to do is we are going to do some division because that's what factoring actually is. It is division. So I'm going to put x squared out in front. What we're actually doing is we are multiplying this set by x squared over x squared. We're multiplying this set by 2 over 2. Okay. Now we're going to divide to figure out what comes out of the middle here. I'm going to have x cubed divided by x squared, which is x. 3x squared divided by x squared is plus 3. Plus the 2. 2x divided by 2 is x. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now, if both parentheses the same, it works. And we're going to write our factors. So the first factor is going to be x squared plus 2. The second factor is the x plus 3. Okay. I'll tell you right now, I do not need to see this step right here, 
my first factor is x squared plus 2. Now, if this would have been a minus sign here, it would have been x squared minus 2. Okay? And then you do the division in the first group. That gives you the answer here. And you verify it by doing the division in the second group. Make sure you got the same thing. Okay, if you're going to use that shortcut, make sure you still do both divisions. Okay. Um, next one is a little messier. But it's still the same thought process of factoring by grouping. And I need to zoom in on my page. And it's um, x squared plus y plus x plus xy. And I want to factor it completely. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I notice that I have three things with x's and only two things with y's. So I want the two things with the y's to be together. So I'm going to put y plus xy together. And then I'm going to have plus x squared plus x. I'm going to write plus x plus x squared. Okay. And now I'm going to factor it by grouping just like I did before. I'm going to put parentheses around the first two. I'm going to put parentheses around the last two. And I have a plus sign in between the two. What do I have in common in the first group? I have a y. What do I have a common in the second group? I have an x. My first factor is y. Do the division, 1 plus x. Then I have the x. Then I'm going to have 1 plus x. They match. I'm going to combine these as y plus x times 1 plus x. We can do some rearranging in order to do the factoring by grouping. Okay. I'm going to write down some general steps for you to factor polynomials completely. Then I'm going to um, show you the IXLs that you need to do. And I'm going to do probably two or three of each of the three different IXLs. Step one, we want to factor out the greatest common monomial factor. Two, look for a special pattern. Factor quadratics into two binomials. Four. Factor four term polynomials. That grouping. Um, factor greatest common monomial factors. Look for special patterns. Factor quadratics into two binomials. And if it's four terms, you're going to use grouping. So let me go over to IXL and. Um, it, here we go. And the first one is factoring by grouping. I just did two examples of that. We're going to do probably two more. 
let me put up my little note piece of paper here. <clears throat> so this is a cubic with four terms. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write it down. 9r cubed plus 18r squared minus 8r minus 16. My grouping pattern said to put parentheses around the first two, parentheses around the last two, plus sign in between the two. Write the greatest common factor of the first group. Nine goes into both of those. R squared. Biggest number that goes into negative eight, negative 16 is eight. But because the first one is negative, I'm gonna put a minus there. My shortcut is to combine these two. 9r squared minus 8. Then I'm going to do the division to come up with my other term. 9r cubed divided by 9r squared is r. 18r squared divided by 9r squared is plus 2. And I'm going to check it with the division on the other side. Negative 8r divided by negative 8 is r. Negative 16 divided by negative 8 is a positive 2. Let me move the keyboard over for a second. I'm going to do open parentheses, 9R. I've actually got to be in the typing box. Open parentheses, 9R squared minus 8. Yeah, I used shift 6 instead of using the little template here. Then I'm going to do R plus 2. I'm going to jump a level just so you can see a harder one. Um, this one doesn't look much harder than the previous one. See easy common factors. 38F cubed plus 19F squared plus 6F plus 3. Parentheses around the first two, parentheses around the last two, plus sign in between the two. Greatest common factor of the first group is going to be 19f squared. Greatest common factor of the second group is 3. My first factor is going to be 19f squared plus 3. I'm going to do the division. 38 divided by 19 is 2. f cubed divided by f squared is f. 19f squared divided by 19f squared is 1. Check it with the other side. 6f divided by 3 is 2f. 3 divided by 3 is 1. It checks. So my open parentheses, 19f squared plus 3 times 2f plus 1. Check it. That's what I have. I'm going to jump one more level. I'm going to do, see if it gets any weirder here. Yeah, we'll do this one. I'm going to write it down. I expect you to do these on the whiteboard or on scratch paper. I expect you to actually work through these and not just do them in your head. So 4j cubed minus 20j squared plus 7j minus 35. Again, parentheses around the first two, parentheses around the last two, plus sign in between the two. I'm going to pull out a 4j squared. I'm going to pull out a 7. So I have 4j squared plus 7. Do the division. I'm going to end up with a j minus 5, but that's not supposed to be a y, it's supposed to be a j. Then I'm going to check 7j divided by 7 is j, and negative 35 divided by 7 is negative 5. So it does work. So I have 4j squared plus 7 times j minus 5. Oops, I got to plus 7 
times j minus 5. And that matches. So those are those basics. Um, notice this one here. I'll actually do it. I'm actually do one step on this one. I'm not going to complete the whole thing because I want to do some other examples. This one here, if you just tried to group it as is, you would not get the first and second term. Nothing would come out. So 18 t cubed plus 5 minus 10 t minus 9 t squared. Okay. I'm going to rearrange this to be 18 t cubed minus 9 t squared minus 10 t plus 5 and now it will work okay just don't try to group it from the start you may need to rearrange it um so that you can do it so that's how you do the grouping problems now we're going to look at quadratics in particular um so these are a little bit beyond where we may have to factor out common factors first. Okay. So 12z squared plus 54z plus 42. First thing we want to look is for we want to find out the greatest common factor. 6 goes into everything. So I'm going to divide everything by 6. Plus 7. Okay. I need two numbers that multiply to 14. So that's 2 times 7. Multiply to AC, which is 14. That add to B, which is 9. And that is going to be the 2 and the 7. And the way I showed you how to do this was to write Z plus 2 over 2 times z plus 7 over 2. So this 2 right here are both of those 2s. This 2 is this one. This 7 is that one. Okay. Now we're going to simplify our work. That simplifies, so that's going to be z plus 1. This doesn't simplify, so I'm going to bring that out in front. 2z plus 7. So this is just like one of your previous homework assignments, but you're factoring out common factors first. So my answer, 6, z plus 1, 2z plus 7. Um, I have Z plus one. Oh, I put an X plus seven. So I still had basically the right answer. Um, except I didn't check my work. I put an X instead of a Z. And I know you guys do the same thing. Let's see what a harder problem looks like. Ten T squared. And a 65 T plus 55. Hopefully you all see that a five goes into everything. Two T squared minus 13 T plus 11. I need two numbers that multiply 22 that add to negative 13. So they're gonna have different signs um, they're going to have the same sign, and they're both going to be negative. And that's going to be the two, negative 2 and negative 11. 5 times t, so that's negative 2, negative 11, minus 2 over 2. t minus 11 over 2. 
This one's going to come out in front. That's going to become a 1. 5 times t minus 1, 2t minus 11. So 5, t minus 1, 2t minus 11. Make sure I have t's in there. Okay, um, let's jump another level. I have 4m squared minus 42m plus 20. I'm going to take a 2 out of everything. That's going to be 2m minus 21 a 2m squared minus 21m plus 10. I need two numbers that multiply to positive 20 that add to negative 21. And that would be negative 20 and negative 1. So I have 2m minus 20 over 2, m minus 1 over 2. This is going to come out in front. 2m, 20 over 2 is minus 10, and I'm going to get 2m minus 1. So I have 2m minus 10. Uh, so I did have the correct answer. I just accidentally hit the enter key because my keyboard's off at a where position. So that shows you how to do those. Now let's go and do the last one. Um, solve quadratic equations by factoring. So we're going to have some quadratics that aren't necessarily the three term quadratics. Let's solve for G. So in order to solve a quadratic equation, so to solve quadratics, we get everything on one side, zero on the other. We're going to factor, and we're going to set each factor equal to zero. And solve. Okay, so for this one, I have g squared plus 12g equals zero. I can pull a g out of both terms. So that gives me g times g plus 12 equals zero. You've already done these. That was factoring out common monomials. Now you're going to set each factor equal to zero g equals 0, and g plus 12 equals 0. Crack the 12. So you have two answers. I have 0 and negative 12. So let's see if I can do this without accidentally hitting the um, enter key. And I write the I wrote the problem down wrong, but you still see I would have had the right answer if I would have done the correct question. Um. So for these, if I were to factor it, so let's just write it out: s squared minus six s equals zero. I'm gonna pull an s out. S, and that's gonna be an s minus six. S equals zero is one of my answers. And then it's the opposite sign here, which would be six. Write each solution. Okay. Let's look at this next one. 41y squared 
minus 36y equals zero. Um, there are no numbers that are in common between the 41 and the 36. So I'm just going to pull a y out. I'm going to get 41y minus 36. My answers are going to be zero. And I'm going to show you the shortcut. I'm going to show you the long cut first. 41y minus 36 equals zero. Add the 36 to both sides. Divide by the 41. Okay, way you I want you to start getting used to doing this is change the sign of the term without the y and divide by the number in front of the y. Those are my two answers. So my first answer is zero. My second answer is 36 41st. The uh, last one I'm going to do here is just like one of our first factoring problems, n squared, um, n squared minus 24n plus 23 equals zero. I need two numbers that multiply to 23 that add to negative 24. That would be negative 23 and negative 1. So my factors are n minus 23 and n minus 1 equals zero. Change the sign. Change the sign. There's my answers, 23 and 1. So um, that is the last lesson for chapter four. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you get wrapped up and get all of the associated homework done for four. The chapter four test is actually this checkpoint on polynomial operations. So adding, subtracting, um, multiplying, and factoring um, polynomials is going to be your test grade for chapter two. Sorry, I said chapter four. It is chapter two.